first look at the features of custom UIzer exposed module for Xiaomi devices running MIUI 10. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a look at an exposed module called Custom UIzer for your MIUI 10 devices. Do note you need to have exposed framework installed for this exposed module to work. I have a separate video on how to install exposed framework on MIUI 10 devices, which is linked in the description of this video. And it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. So as you can see right now, I'm running exposed on my Xiaomi Poco F1, which is running MIUI 10.3.4.0 global stable based on Android 9.0 Pi. What are the things which we need? Well, we need only one thing, which is the APK for custom UIzer. I have linked the website in the description of this video. Once you're on that website, all you need to do is click on this file name below the download, click on this one, and the file will be downloaded to your phone. Once the file has downloaded to your phone, you can either click on open or you can always go into file manager then click on APKs and this is the file which we need to install. We will select it and then click on install. Once custom UIzer has installed successfully, we will click on the home button, go into add exposed, click on the three bar menu on the top left and then click on modules. Now we will see custom UIzer show up. All we need to do is make sure that we check this option and it is telling us that the settings or the module will be activated after a reboot. So the next thing we need to do is we'll go ahead and reboot our POCO F1. Back into Android, if we open the app drawer, we will have a new icon called custom UIzer. Let me drag and drop this to the desktop, just makes my life easier. And if you go into settings, you will also see custom UIzer show up over here as well, this option. So you can access it either from the app icon or from settings let's open custom muizer and go through the features which we get with custom muizer so the first option is system over here you have enhanced toasts so what kind of toast notifications do you want do you want the app icon the label of the notification or you want both icon and label next up you have whether you want your screen to light up when you connect the headset or not you can customize that using this toggle whether you want your screen to light up when you connect the charger or not. It can be irritating for some peeps, you know, you're going to sleep, connect your charger to your phone and the screen wakes up. So if you want to turn that off, you can use this option over here. I just select all charging events and that ensures that it is disabled for all the charging events or the screen won't light up whenever I connect my phone to your charger. Next up, you have the charging animation timeout. It is set to default and you can also change it using this slider. Now, before we go ahead, what does this star mean? Well, to know what this star means, you need to go back to the custom UIzer home screen, click on the three dot menu on the top right and then click on about. Over here, it will tell you what star means. So feel free to pause and read over here what that star means if you feel like. Back into system customization, if you want to customize the time or duration of the turning of animation, you can do that using this slider. Then whether you want separate volume controls in your sound and settings. So let me enable this guy. And once we soft reboot our phone at the end, I will show you these changes. Next, you can also change your volume steps using this slider. Whether you want to see the seconds in the clock or not, let's enable this guy as well. If you want to hide your mobile network type, what is the traffic speed spacing you want? If you want to increase it, whether you want expand notifications all the time, whether you want enhanced screen lock or not. So if you enable this guy, then the power menu will be disabled when the screen lock is active, whether you want scrambled pin or not. What about your password after reboot? So generally when you reboot, you need to enter your pin Again, your fingerprint only won't work. However, if you want to override that, you can enable this option. Let's enable it. Next, you have double tap to sleep. 
If you want to turn the screen off by double tapping on any of the empty space on the lock screen, you can enable that option from here. Next up, we have the option to set up the background blur intensity in different scenarios. So you can change it for recent apps, notification drawer, and then you have the option to set the opacity of a theme notification. Let's go ahead and change the blur for recent apps to say 47. And this is how it looks like right now, all blurred. And we can check it on later once we reboot our phone. Let's click on the back button now, go into MIUI launcher. So these are all the changes you can do for MIUI launcher. If you want to assign any specific gestures you want, say swipe down with one finger, what is the action you want to assign? So let's click on no action and change it. So let's say you want to expand your quick settings panel. Once you make this selection, make sure you click on the check mark button on the top right of your screen. So you can define these gestures for all these options. Pretty nifty, no point in going through all of them. But yes, you have all these major customizations. Let's go back, go into controls. And now whether you want quick flashlight or not, then you have customization for the fingerprint scanner, something which I really like in this exposed module. So single tap action. So let's click on this guy, change no action to say when I single tap on the fingerprint scanner while the screen is on, let's take a screenshot, click on the check mark button on the top right. And similarly, you can define a double tap action as well, along with double tap delay. You can also define a long press action as well and a long press delay for the same setting. Then whether you want to use your volume keys to move the cursor or not, what is the action you want to provide for volume up button, long press when your screen is off, similarly for volume down, whether you want a vibration when you long press your volume rockers or not. Then you have option to add two more buttons on either side. So you'll have two more small icons show up over here. Let's enable this option. So click on left button action. Right now it is set as no action. Let me click on it and say, I want to toggle my Wi-Fi. So say, let's toggle a feature and say, I want to toggle my Wi-Fi on or off when I click on the left button. Click on the check mark button on top right. Similarly, let's say we want an action for the right button also. So click on no action and say, launch an application select what application you want to launch. So say I want to launch the camera application and then click on the check mark button on the top right. Similarly, you can also configure your left button long press and right button long press as well. Let's go back and you also have various options whether you want to enable additional details for your APKs. Let's enable this guy as well, go back. And then you have the option of disabling custom UIzer showing up in settings. If you toggle this, if you want to report a bug, a detailed report, or if you want to donate to the developer. Once you have configured all your changes or you've made changes to this, to the customizations in this application, all you need to do is click on the three dot menu on the top right, and then click on soft reboot. It will ask you before doing a soft reboot. So all you need to do is click on okay. Back into Android, let's try unlocking a device and bam, the first thing you notice is that my pin or the numbers are now scrambled. Let's now check whether we can access the power menu from here or not. And bam, we are not able to access the power menu at all. Let us now see if we can unlock our phone with the fingerprint only and bam, working like a boss. So those three customizations are working absolutely fine. Let's now go into settings and look for sound to see whether we have customizations for ring, alarm volume, media volume, notification volume, system sounds volume. So that customization is also working absolutely fine. You also have your seconds in the time on the top left of the screen. And you also have these two new icons show up on either side of our navigation bar. The right one was configured to launch an application. So let me click on it. And bam, camera application in the building, working like a champ. The left one, I don't remember what it was configured for, but let's give it a try. Yeah, so it was for toggling off and on our Wi-Fi. One more time, Wi-Fi enabled. The other thing we had set up was a custom background blur for our recent applications. Let's open recents and there it is. It's not 100% now, it is around 49% or 50% whatever we had set it. 
then we had also set up a gesture for swipe down to bring down the quick settings bam quick settings in the building and we had also set a gesture for say a single tap on the fingerprint for a screenshot and bam we just took a screenshot so as you can see all the features which we had set up in this exposed module are working absolutely fine and that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you